Hey everybody, welcome to Bar 7, let's play the a big chance! I don't know. Look at this sign here! Here's the front door! You won't be able to leave! You won't be able to come back if you leave through here, so make sure you, you're decent for me. I can't speak today, apparently. You won't be able to come back if you leave through here, so make sure you're decent before making for work. But what did you do with the front door keys? You know you left them somewhere. And I haven't encountered them yet in any of these other rooms, so I guess it has to be in the living room. What's this say? This is the living room. <laughs> Didn't you leave your keys around here somewhere? Careful though, Daddy's been at the drink again. Daddy drinking. Look at him chucking them beer cans everywhere. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Oh, I got hit by Dad. Oh, he chucked one of his beer cans at me and I got hit in the head. And I missed that jump more often than not. Yeah, alright. Oh, hey. There's Dad again, chopping them beers, chopping, chuck, chucking them. Ah, uh, what? Apparently, I was at two health when I. Did Dad do two hearts of health? Oh, I keep getting hit by him. I don't know why. Well, Dad's got years of practice at chucking beer cans at my head. He's good at it. He's an expert. Die, monster! <laughs> avoid, avoid, avoid! I don't want to fight them! No, oh, just collect coins and keys and other things! Oh, almost fell onto my dog there. Which may have, in fact, hurt me, because I don't think I was in a good position. I think I have to go up here, because there's a key. Which will undoubtedly be important at some point. There's a cat! Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Good thing I got his heart. His rich, tasty heart. Oh. Oh. Well, at least I got a heart back. I ate my mother's heart. What's this? Looks like someone left their cigarettes or Molotov cocktails all over the place and started a fire. Oh well, surely it'll go out eventually, right? It's not like you don't have enough of these chair things. They're all over. It's true. Ooh, there's Dad chucking beers at me. Ah, oh, that's where I needed that key for. Whoa, there's a cat right there. There's a safe point, thank goodness. Because there's a mother and a cat. Mom is chucking her frying pans at me, and I somehow managed to run into her anyway. And I didn't get a heart for it, that's okay. Ooh, almost... Oh, see, now that's what I'm talking about, the weird hitbox for the dog. I ran through it. Oh, stupid dad. And there, the house keys. They will open the, they will open the front door to your house, allowing you to begin your journey to work. Hooray! Unfortunately, we have to go through this other area in order to actually leave. Thanks to these one-way platforms. I'm gonna just... Oh, I didn't mean to actually fall down there. You... Uh, damn it! Come on! Go. There we... No, don't fall again! <laughs> oh, well, I had to go down there anyway, but I just wanted to collect those three keys. How many fathers do you have? Oh, look at that! There are... Oops. Four of them, apparently. Oh, damn. I thought I could actually hit him that time. Uh, oop. Okay, so I gotta go back up here. Collect those three keys that I worked so hard to get. Oops. I, that was bad. Thank goodness for the ridiculously long invincibility that this game gives you. Come on out here, doggy. You. Oh, well, missed completely. Whatever. Not a big deal. As long as I can leave before. Okay, good. Collect the coins. Kill a lamp. Collect its heart. Oh, shoot. I was... Uh-oh. Looks like your parents are having a row about the cat and the roast chicken. You'd best stay out of this one. I shouldn't, though. I can't. You know why? I'll show you very shortly. As soon as... I get a slight clearing... 
and try not to die. Ah! That's why, because behind your dad was the fourth and final clue. Her favorite animal is the regal sea slug. The fourth and final clue for this level, I should say, for this chapter. All right, save. That's good. Kill the lamp. Don't need its rich, tasty heart. But I got a key, which is going to be important a little bit later. In fact, not very much later at all. Welcome to the Fluffy Cat Room. Did you know that you can jump higher by bouncing off an enemy? Enemy's head by holding space by him. Uh, wow, yeah, that. Ugh, I didn't quite make it. Okay. Ah, blasted cat. Yes! Oh, I missed one key. One coin. Yes! Alright. That. Uh, I can just... yeah, alright. That one. No, I didn't have to kill my mother there, but I felt like it. Okay, is there anything down there? I don't remember. But it would appear that we are nearing the end of Chapter 1, also known as Clarence's House, just as long as I don't die in the process. Should be okay. And we are, check it out, 700 of the 700 coins. All of the objectives have been completed. All of the items have been collected. And it only took me 50 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so we have the 4 out of 16 personality tips, which is all you can get in any one chapter. And that's the map of the entire place, but why even bother looking at this point? Because, oh, hey, what's up, Dad? All right, well... Well, that is the end of Chapter 1, Level level 1, whatever you want to call it. 100% completion. Booyah! And so Clarence, thus prepared, sets off on his way to work. He'll have to travel the streets on foot, then go through the daily grind at the office, but tonight's date is never far from his mind. And unfortunately, because I've completed this game several times, and, well, not several times, like twice, and have not deleted my save because I wanted to keep the saves earlier from earlier, whatever. Uh, I have several achievements. The achievements that I got this time were probably uh, this one, the uh, morning, pre morning Preparer, which finished level 1. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, not that one. Uh, all of the good items on level 1. The Doodah Hoarder. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. And this one. Penny Pincher, you managed to collect all of the coins on level one. Um, you probably, if you pause the video and looked at the other ones, you'll see some of the clues as to what will happen later on. But that's for later. So, thank you for joining me for part seven. I want to say part seven. I think that's right. I forgot, even though I just found that out eight minutes ago, what it was. Whatever. Thanks for joining me uh, for the end of chapter one of Clarence's Big Chance. And be sure to join me next time when we start our journey towards work. Excelsior!